So we're developing new CFD uh, solver technology that's GPU accelerated that is more accurate than previous techniques and also hopefully quicker so we can resolve in particular unsteady flow phenomena with large vortical structures. So we're doing the research that we're doing in order to try and improve design processes used by various companies who manufacture things from aircraft to Formula One racing cars. The tools can not only be used in an industrial context, they can also hopefully enable simulations of fundamental scientific phenomena like uh, weather simulations, so climate change simulations, um, through to even perhaps simulations of blood flow in the human body. Uh, the main benefits of GPUs are that they essentially just allow our algorithms to run more quickly, um, reduce the time to solution, so you can use the CFD technology more quickly in the design cycle, for example. Um, hopefully people will learn, I think from the work we've done, how best to target GPU hardware, how to get the most out of it. I think that's one of the fundamental outcomes of the research. So uh, we have a demo running on the Kitware booth at Supercomputing today that's running our solver technology that's called PiFR on Titan, it's on 256 GPUs and then there's an in-situ Viz pipeline running that we've worked to set up the last few months so it's rendering up the images that are coming out of the CFD simulation in real time, transmitting them back here to the hall and we can interact with them in real time, spin them around, change the ISO surfaces on this large data set as it's generated. And this is pretty cool because I think it sort of really allows us to get into the large data sets that we generate from the simulation technology.